So in-game graphic settings can affect your gaming performance a lot. But do you know which settings to turn on and off to get better FPS and how these settings affect your gaming performance? In this video we will discuss about the same. And before we begin hit that like button and subscribe if you want to learn more of these. So hey guys it's Vijay from HP Games. Today we will learn about some of the in-game settings and we will see how much blood they can suck out of your GPU if turned on. Tweaking these settings properly may give you a nice boost in your FPS and good gaming experience too. So without delay let's begin. Our first contender is Ambient Occlusion. This is responsible for handling of shadows in the game. You know that every object creates a shadow based on its size and light source and also affected by other object shadows too if it falls under it. So Ambient Occlusion manages the shadow to make the images more realistic. The most common type of ambient occlusion is SSAO, On Screen Space Ambient Occlusion. It was first introduced with the original Crisis and is the basic level of ambient occlusion. So what SSAO does is it darkening the pixels that are blocked from light sources. Next type is HBAO, Horizon Based AO or HDAO High Definition AO. Both are same. HBAO belongs to Nvidia and HDAO to AMD. So it does the similar job as SSAO except it repeats those steps more time, results better overall effect of shadows. But at the same time it takes up lots of juice out of your GPU, resulting drops in FPS. But ambient occlusion is highly recommended so if you can afford the processing power because it makes the game looks more realistic with that shadow effect. Next is field of view. Field of view is the angle at which you see the world through the in-game camera. So if you set it to its minimum value of 60, you can see a 60 degree arc on your screen. If you set it to 120, then you can see a 120 degree arc in front of your screen. But if you higher the value, then prepare yourself to take a hit in frame rates because then your GPU has to render more objects on screen at a time. So probably the best setting is 90 degree if you are struggling with frame rates. Next is our old friend V-Sync or Vertical Synchronization. What it does is it reduces the screen tearing. It's caused by frame being written to the screen before the previous frame is finished. Every monitor has a refresh rate. That's the number of frames it can display in a second. You also have a frame rate that your graphic card is putting out of the monitor. If you have a 60Hz monitor, it's capable of displaying 60 frames a second. But if your graphic card is putting out 90 frames a second, then that can cause screen tearing. So VSync fixes this by restricting the frame rate of the game to be the same as the refresh rate of your monitor. So if you are observing any screen tearing on screen, then switch this on or else turn it off. It also eats up lot of FPS from your game. Depth of field. It gives you more focus on object player is focusing on. It does that by blurring out the other object which are out of focus. Like when you are try to snipe something, it will blur other out of focus objects to give you more clarity. It's having very little effect on your frame rate so you can switch it on. Next is anti-aliasing. Everything you see on your screen is made up of pixel, which are small square block of color. But because they are square, it means they only have horizontal and vertical edges. So if you do a horizontal line, you get a nice smooth edge. Similarly with vertical lines, they are very smooth. But if you get a diagonal line, it looks jagged along the edges. That's because you are trying to make a diagonal or curved edges with something that only has horizontal and vertical edges. What anti-aliasing does is blends the color around those objects to look more smooth images but it comes in with great cost because your GPU has to render all those extra pixels to look more smoother. There's a bunch of anti-aliasing method. Let's look at the different ones and examine how much GST your system has to pay for this. First is MSAA, multi-sample anti-aliasing is the most common type. In this, your GPU takes color sample from around a piece of in-game image and projects an average of those colors at the edges. It produces an illusion of smoothness around the image. The higher the number of samples like 2x, 4x or 8x, the more clear image you will get. But more numbers cost you more. Next is FXAA, Fast Approximate Anti-Aliasing, is a blanket approach means it applies to a whole scene after it has rendered. And it's very efficient and you will get a better frame rate than MSAA, but it results in a blurrier image overall. 
नेक्स्ट इज टी एक्स डबल ए और एम एल डबल ए नोन फॉर टेम्पोरल एंटी एलियसिंग बाई एनवीडिया और मोर्फोलॉजिकल एंटी एलियसिंग बाई एम डी बोथ आर सेम ओनली इट्स सिमिलर टू एम एस डबल ए बट इट यूज प्रीवियस फ्रेम डेटा टू क्रिएट द कलर सैंपल्स इन द करेंट फ्रेम एंड इज मोर एफिशियंट एज अ रिजल्ट नेक्स्ट इज डबल एस डबल ए सुपर सैम्पलिंग एंटी एलियसिंग वट इट डज इज इट एक्चुअली स्केल्स डाउन योर रिजोल्यूशन देन एक्चुअल मीन्स इट गिवस इंस्ट्रक्शन टू योर जी पी यू टू वर्क ऑन ए हायर रिजोल्यूशन देन इट्स गोइंग टू डिस्प्ले टू इट्स स्क्रीन सो इफ योर मॉनिटर इज ऑफ नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी बाई थाउजेंड एटी एंड यूजर सेट सुपर सैम्पलिंग टू टू हंड्रेड देन योर जी पी यू इज एक्चुअली गोइंग टू डबल द रिजोल्यूशन थ्रो द ग्राफिक कार्ड इज गोइंग टू बी वर्किंग एट थ्री एट फोर जीरो बाई ट्वेंटी वन सिक्सटी वेन यू डबल द रिजोल्यूशन यू मेक द पिक्सल्स फोर टाइम्स स्मॉलर देन द सेम इमेज रिजल्ट लॉट मोर डिटेल क्रिस्प एंड स्मूथ इमेज बट यू हैव टू पे हायर कॉस्ट ऑफ एफ पी एस इफ यू अप्लाई द सेम नेक्स्ट सेटिंग इज टेक्सचर फिल्टरिंग और एन आईओसोट्रॉपिक फिल्टरिंग इट अप्लाइज अ टेक्सचर ओवर द ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ द गेम एग्जाम्पल इफ योर गेम रेंडर्स ए वॉल इट मेक्स अ टेक्सचर ऑफ कॉन्क्रीट एंड मैप दैट टू द वॉल टू मेक इट मोर लाइक कॉन्क्रीट वॉल टेक्सचर क्वालिटी वोट लाइकली एफेक्ट योर फ्रेम रेट बिकॉज इट डज नॉट स्ट्रेस द ग्राफिक कार्ड प्रोसेसर हाउ एवर टेक्सचर क्वालिटी डज रिक्वायर मोर वीडियो रैम सो इफ यू हैव मोर वी रैम देन डू स्विच इट ऑन वाइल प्लेइंग टू गेट मोर ऑसम लुकिंग इमेजेस सो आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड सम ऑफ द बेसिक सेटिंग्स एंड वेन टू टर्न दम ऑन एंड ऑफ वन मोर थिंग यू कैन डू इज डाउनलोड एन वीडिया जी फोर्स एक्सपीरियंस it will help you to adjust the best settings for your game but still if you want you can reach to the graphics settings and get them adjusted as you need you may get better result than nvidia application so that's it for now guys hope you enjoy the video and learn something new today hit that like button and subscribe for more awesome videos like this thanks for watching